I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to manually install the latest version that's available for your Samsung device. You can see that I have One UI 7 installed here, and it's actually an update from August. So there are two newer updates that I could install on this device. Even though the phone says there are no new updates, when I check to see if I can download one, there are ways to manually install these updates through the PC. So with One UI 8 being based on Android 16, I learned that this was recently released for my phone. So let me show you how I manually update this device while keeping all of my data in place. Before we can actually manually update our Samsung Galaxy device here, there are some things that we need to have set up ahead of time. Now, if you don't have it on your computer yet, you will need to download and extract Odin binaries onto your PC because we will use that to actually flash the firmware files onto our device here. And I'll be sure to have that download link to that program in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment so that it's easy for everyone to find. You're also going to need to know the model number and the region code for your Samsung Galaxy device. You can see the string of letters and numbers in the baseband version entry is going to tell you what your model number is. I have SM-S911B as my model number. And it uses the region code TPA since it was imported from Panama but yours will be different, both the model number and the region code. And that will all depend on where you got the device from. If you're not familiar with how to find the model number and region code of your phone, then I will be sure to include a link to a dedicated guide that I've done on that as well. And you can find that linked down below too. That video will help you translate all of this stuff from the software information page of the About Phone menu within the Settings application. Now, once you have the model number and the region code, you can then proceed to download the latest firmware for your device. I personally use this website right here, samfw.com but there are a number of ways that you can download the latest firmware for your device. I even have a video here on the channel showing you how this is done with a program called Freya, and I can link to that as well. But you can use any trusted source since Samsung does a good job of verifying these firmware downloads when you enter them into Odin. So you're gonna to go to this website and enter your model number into this page here. You can see I did that, and I got the Samsung Galaxy S23. Then we're gonna enter our region code, which as I just showed you, is TPA. And you'll get an entire list of all of the firmware files that you can download for this specific device and you'll most likely find the latest version up here at the top. So we're gonna download this file and then we're gonna extract the contents of that file onto our PC right here. You may have noticed that this firmware is actually two updates ahead of what's currently installed on my device and that's perfectly okay. Updating Android in this way with Odin does not require you to be on the firmware from the previous month. So you can see, this is the firmware file that I downloaded. It is a zip file. When I extracted the contents of that file, 
I get these five files. And sometimes you may get six or seven when you download Samsung firmware. We will need to boot the Samsung Galaxy device into download mode. Now, if you have an older Samsung phone or tablet, like before the Galaxy S20 series, then you may need to find specific directions about how to access it. But we can access download mode on more modern versions of Samsung Galaxy devices though, by powering down the phone, pressing and holding the volume up and volume down buttons at the same time. And I'm gonna continue holding these buttons down while I plug in the USB cable. And I'll continue holding those buttons down until you see this teal slash green or blue menu that looks like this. And we're gonna press the volume up button when we get to this warning screen so that it takes us into download mode. Just make sure that you have that USB cable connected to your PC since we need to make a data connection to trigger the device into download mode. If you try to do this with a USB cable that is directly connected to a wall charger, then it will not work. Once you are in download mode though, we can go ahead and open up Odin and begin to fill out these slots with the firmware files that we downloaded and extracted. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna click on the BL button, find the folder that has all of our extracted files for this firmware, look for the file that begins with the letters BL and select it. We'll do the same for CP. So we're gonna click on CP from here. Then we're gonna find the file that begins with the letters CP. You just wanna make sure that you're loading the regular CSC file in this slot and not the home underscore CSC file. And last up, we're gonna click on the letters AP and we'll load the big, you can see 15, almost 16 gigabytes, the big firmware file that begins with the letters AP. Now some Samsung firmware downloads will also have a user data file. So if you saw that when you extracted those files, then you'll want to add that user data file to Odin as well. You can see I did not have that here. I only have an AP, a BL, a CP, a CSC, and a home underscore CSC. So I'm going to be ignoring the user data slot. But again, if you have that in your firmware, then it should go there. Just know that when you add the AP file, it's going to take a long time for Odin to unpack it, set all the files up, and get it ready. And you will see it say not responding up there with the loading icon as your mouse. Just wait, be patient, and just as you saw, after a minute or two, you'll see the computer and Odin catch up and it will load that file in properly. When you're ready to begin, make sure you have all of your files loaded. We're gonna set the phone down, not touch it, and click on the start button right here. We want to make sure that our phone maintains a stable and secure connection to our PC while all of these files get sent and copied to our device. Don't touch the phone, don't mess with the cable, just sit back and let Odin do all of this work for us. As you get toward the end, be sure to watch this progress bar. 
when it fills up, you'll see this turn green and you'll see the letters P-A-S-S -S, with Odin telling you that everything flashed correctly and it will reboot your phone automatically when it's done. And when the phone boots back up, be sure to check that software information page again. So you can see you have updated to One UI 8 based on Android 16 or whatever the latest version of Android is at the time of watching this video. And you'll notice that most of the work that we did today was basically just setting stuff up so that the update process was able to be completed. And now that you have done all of that work, manually updating your phone for future updates will be much, much faster. So, as always, let me know if you ran into any issues following this guide, because I'll be here in the comments section to help out anyone who ends up getting stuck or confused along the way. If you would, please don't forget to give this video a like, click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising lately, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.